Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear me just fine. Um, I'll give it a couple minutes to let everybody check in. Let me know where you're watching from. It's not Lightroom Live tonight. It's just lights in this room live. <laughs> I, uh, I just came up with that. So I hope you appreciate my... Uh, quick wit or lack thereof uh tonight i'll be answering your questions as best i can i'll also be uh assembling uh the new pro scale light kit for the traxxas trx4 2021 bronco there it is right up there what an exciting set of lights this is going to be um, I'm sure you've, uh, you've probably already seen this kit. Uh, there's been a couple of videos posted online, uh, but we're going to go through the whole installation process. So, um, strap on your learning goggles. <laughs> there's going to be some learning tonight. All right. Uh, I turned off the, um, the, the thingy on the camera because I found it was a bit strange it was acting up but let's see maybe i'll turn it back on here Hang on. let's go over the old camera and boom yes perfect all right some people i think are getting these already they are uh they're coming in uh into stock canada not quite yet so um i feel quite lucky uh, is this how to install the Ford Yeti kit? No, Chris. This is the, this is the Bronco Light Kit. Uh, Pro Scale Light Kit. Here is the outside of the box. Uh, this kit, unlike the other Pro Scale Lighting Kit, which I have right over here, um, this Pro Scale Lighting Kit uh, is sort of just the basics. You would already need to have the LEDs for this Pro Scale Light Kit. But if you get this one for the Bronco specifically, it's complete. It comes with all the LEDs. And uh, let's uh, let's take a look at what's in the box. Because there's some pretty interesting stuff in here. Um, if you watch my TRX-6 uh, demo, uh, you'll notice some of these parts are the same. Uh, the ProScale uh, distribution block. This is sort of what you hardwire between the truck and the actual uh, kit, the light kit that gets put onto the actual chassis. Uh, I'm going to focus my attention on getting the LEDs on the body first, and then we'll switch over to the stuff that goes on the truck, including the uh, link kit here. This is where um, your uh, your lighting kit plugs in, and then there's a bunch of buttons on here, and then a bunch of extra additional uh, outlets for more lights. So there's that as well. Um, here's the front LED package. I'm going to show these to you. Take them out of the bag here. Uh, but these are very cool. There's a lot of LEDs in there. You can see there's the round bit for the halo there. There's two what looks to be like headlights or high beam, low beam maybe. And then more for the brow um, uh, halo as well. So there's a ton in there. Hey, Patina guy, how are you? Guy and a moose, welcome. Uh, so that's the front headlights assemblies. This needs more likes. Yeah, that's right. Hey, big, uh, hey, big red bitch. Good to see you. Uh, here's the rear tail lights. Uh, you can see again. There's like a, a series of halos that are probably red LEDs for the rears there, and um, then a couple of centers as well, which I think are going to be quite bright. So you get all those LEDs, uh, you get a bunch of hardware in here as well. Chong ERC, thanks for the $5. We don't actually want to see the parts, we just want you to read the box. <laughs> I could read the box. Is that what most people do with an unboxing? Is this an unboxing though? We're going to actually do it. Um, similar to the TRX-6 kit, uh, here is the um, what you put in, in between your uh, brushed motor, which... I've set up properly so I can still do this. Uh, you put these in between the brushed motor and the uh, the control box there so you get your brake lights working. 
That's how the system knows. Anyway, uh, and then you get a bunch of zip ties and some hardware. And that is, oh, well, you actually get uh, the chassis mount as well, which you have to uh, install on the chassis itself to place all of these things. And then you get another little piece here, which gets attached to the actual body cage on the inside uh, for holding the distribution block. So uh, they also get some grease and some additional stickers. What are those for? Oh, interesting. Uh, brake light pipe decal. We'll get into what that means later on. Refer to enclosed instructions for installation. I don't use zip ties. You don't use kit zip ties, do you, Dana? <laughs> I get it. That's the joke. All right. So um, in addition to that, of course, you get a whole bunch of instructions, which I've already started looking at here. So I'm just going to jump right in. Um, but I'll try to answer questions as I go. Um, the first one looks like it's coming from Dominic Susi. Hey, Matt, when it comes to painting a Lexan body, what is your process? Well, uh, first, oddly enough, I trim the body first. Uh, I like to mark all my holes and trim all those holes prior to doing any painting or any even washing. Because, you know, when you are handling the body, you're bound to um, get a bunch of debris or debris, as they say in F1, uh, a bunch of debris on the inside of the body. I like to just wash all that off afterwards. So then I wash the body after cutting all my holes and trimming it. Uh, and then I will scotch bright it very lightly and then um, mask and paint. And it's always darkest colors to lightest colors if you can help it. If you can't help it, um, if you have to do a bunch of light colors first, like light colors are like the major part of your, your body and you don't want to... Uh, mask the entire rest of it then what i do is do all my light colors but then do a backing in silver and it usually maintains the brightness of that light color even after you spray black on top of it. so there you go all right so the first step here is to remove the uh, plastic assembly that is holding in the headlight buckets so we're going to do that first and i'm going to keep track of where all my screws go so i don't lose them Hopefully. <laughs> Oops, those are gone for good. <laughs> I'm going to try to get... There we go. Don't want to damage this body. I've been very, very careful with it so far. And uh, it's precious to me. Hi, Toby. How are you? Picked up the uh, Silver Lines, picked up the light and winch kit. I also have the winch installed on this truck, and uh, it uh, it's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice winch. Um, tomorrow, if you're watching around 8 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, I'm going to have my TRX 6 back on the bench um, because obviously it's not a speedrun car anymore. Josh, is, I'm leaving that to Josh now. And um, I've kind of like gone back and made it just a regular TRX-6 again. So I kind of did like a little follow-up um, episode with that. And uh, I there actually is a really awesome place to put the winch on that TRX-6. Uh, not to worry, I've got paper towels down here, so we're not scratching the body. All right, so uh, this has to come off first. There is a lot of screws attaching it to the body or to the interior plate anyway, which is good. Nice firm mount for this whole thing. Uh, good thing I have this power driver. You have selected power drive. May I suggest feather touch? <laughs> Matt, you know the new Bronco is just a restyled Land Rover? What? It is not. Dazilla, hey buddy, you survived the jerky. Glad to hear it. So you take this this assembly piece out here, and then you're left with the uh, the buckets here. And then there's more screws to remove those first, and there is a spacer here that's going to come out prior to the uh, installation of the LEDs. 
So there we go with that. And you should just be able to lift this spacer off, hopefully. Why won't you come out? <laughs> Maybe the whole thing has to come out. I don't think so, though. Let's see here. I'll pop the grill off. So that comes off quite easily. There we go. Pop that out. Lick it, stick it, see you later, bye. And there is a screw holding the spacer in. Right there and there. So we'll pull those off with a much smaller screwdriver or much smaller hex driver. Pardon, pardon my noobness. Don't lose those because those are important. One thing I forgot to install is those two little black stickers in the rear brakes. Aha! So that will come into play then. Is that what you're saying? Okay, so this is probably the spacer that they're saying you don't need. Um, yes. Okay, so that's the spacer. We're going to get rid of that. Let's get our LED system here. And hopefully uh, it's pretty obvious, but, um, you know, one side... It'll only go one way. Yes. Excellent. And you can already see that there's going to be a two beam sort of uh, thing in there. And then a bunch of uh, halos. That's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. And the blinkers are integrated into that piece too. Very cool. Okay, let's put the cover back on. This, uh, this so far, knock on wood, is pretty easy. When does it get hard? That's what she said. <laughs> it's always time for one of those jokes. Hi, Robbie. Thanks for checking in. Sorry you can't stick around. I do appreciate all the effort Traxxas went to to make this look very good. I think it's going to be very, very cool. Okay, let's pop out the right side here. Should we move all of this? There we go. That's better. That's better. Those are some. They are very nice lenses. They really went to town on these. It's not just a you know a foil-backed sticker. There's a lot going in to these lights. Uh, oh, Thomas, speaking of, uh, you wanted the, the new uh, light kit for the Corvette. Is that what you're uh, getting at there? I have that as well. I put that in today. It looks pretty good. It's not as in-depth, I would say, as, the, uh, as the, the Bronco kit here, but it is pretty darn good. Uh, and there's no like, there's no functioning uh, brake lights or anything. Um, awesome RC. Um, there, uh, there were two winners: one for the damn van body and one for the TRX4. It's funny you mention that actually because uh, the van body is on its way out the door, and the winner of the TRX4 hasn't actually claimed it yet believe it or not, which is a little disparaging. He, I know they entered, um, but I'm not sure what happened there. So I'm kind of hoping that, um, you know, I'm going to send out another, like I sent out a second email saying, Hey, you know, you won. I really, so I really kind of hope he gets back to me. Uh, otherwise we're going to have to move on to somebody else. I think, uh, I think, um, uh, John H won the uh, damn van body, and he's already been contacted. He already knows, so he's all good on that front. Uh, and then I think it's Bryson won the TRX4, so he needs to check his email. Um, so far, this is all going in quite, quite well, I must say. Um, 
let's get this i imagine the best way to do this is to put this over the wires and i will double check that here in a second but that all just snaps right back together uh route the wiring harness in the body refer to body wiring diagram which i will in a second here body wiring chassis wiring body wiring okay cool 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 under that piece yeah no worries we can do that later cool uh but there they are installed that was pretty darn easy let's get um let's get all these screws back in place here hopefully i can remember which ones went where and which ones are doing what Shame the wires come out of the bottom of the lenses. I don't think you're going to see them, though, Dana, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. They'll all get zip-tied into place, and then they'll be gone forever in terms of seeing them. Uh, John, yes, I will email the pics. I'm sorry I'm a little behind on that. I always feel like I'm letting guys down when I don't do that right away. My intention is obviously to get them out the door as quickly as possible, but I think I I blew it on that one. So I apologize. I should redraw. I, you know what? Awesome. I'm going to give him a week. I think that's only fair. Uh, you know, I don't want to be, you know, maybe he's on vacation. Right? Overland, I was. I was the totally the winner. I just changed all my account details suddenly. You know how that is. I can't say that I do know how that is. <laughs> commercial model. Oh, thank you, Dana. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how those commercial models came out. Did I forget a screw? did darn it i'm gonna take this whole thing off again i should yeah i should put them in don't be lazy don't be lazy rather do it right bryson you gotta hit him up on tiktok how very appropriate that was a good one that's stripped no i haven't stripped anything it's it's got a it's got a um you know uh what's it called an adjustable clutch i'm not stripping nothing don't you worry about me What's my new favorite Traxxas car? Anthony, it's probably this Bronco. The drag car is pretty cool. Um, but, you know, I'm always kind of going to be a, a purist, I think. And uh, it's hard to beat a good old-fashioned crawler. Crawler. It's fine. I won't care. <laughs> You're funny. There we go. If you're not going to do it right, don't do it at all. I'd much rather do it right. All right. There are two tiny pesky screws that uh, assemble the headlight buckets to the inside of the grill and it's kind of key that you get those in so shoot it's the best angle for you as a viewer probably that for now factory five yeah i got uh got one of those delivered last week i have not had a chance to play with that yet um but uh i'll get it out here i want to do i want to do like a night shoot with it i think 
I think night videos are cool. Wait, is that the right? Hmm. Kerchunk. Hey there, Jimmy Knight. How are you, buddy? I haven't, uh, well, I spoke to you earlier today. And now I'm wearing your shirt. What are the odds? I was thinking about you, James. I hope all is well down under. Are you still making toys? Mike uh, Pasquale, we were just talking about the Factory 5 hot rods. I was just commenting that I've got one. I've got the pickup truck version. Which is, I think, in my opinion, it's the cooler looking of the two. <laughs> Nice, thanks, man. Love you. All right, we're almost done reassembling. Imagine this was actually James's shirt. Uh, we've shared, we've shared a trailer before. Proline by the fire, 20, 2019? Is it twenty nineteen? I think it was twenty nineteen. No toy making the oh a vacation. Nice. That's the word I use for the dog when I want him to go in the car. I go, Alexander, do you want to go on a vacation? All right. Front's done. And looking at the front of the body, you'd be none the wiser. You'd never know that anything had happened there. All right. Uh, let's move on to the rear. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, what do we got to do here? Rear lights. Remove. These guys. Oh, this is much simpler on the back. Much simpler. And just as impossible to give you a good view of it. But there are two... Three mil screw uh, hex holding in the light bucket here. And you can just sort of snap that out. There's the whole assembly there. Uh, again, we're going to have tiny screws holding the light bucket in place. So we're going to remove those. Twenty nineteen BTF before the craziness. Last event I was at before you made the big move. That's right. That is right. Oh my goodness. There are so many pieces in here. Uh, so we're going to get rid of that spacer. We don't need that anymore. But inside the light bucket. Oh boy. I've, already, I've messed it all up. There's a lot of tiny pieces. Where does this piece even go? It must. Oh, I see. Okay. It fits, so inside the light bucket, there's this other little tiny piece, and that slots in there. But I bet you some of these pieces are going to come out now as we put this back together. All right. To the instructions. That's a lot of fiddly bits you got there. That's right, Jeremy. Lots of fiddly bits. Oh, I see. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so on the actual light, <laughs> there are a lot of fiddly bits here. I am not going to lie. So let's, let's take this apart together. Let's zoom in here. Tighten up. This is the so sort of song you would tighten up to. All right, so there's the light bucket. But we're going to take out this piece and, oh, come on. There we go. Everything. <laughs> Everything else out of there. Get. Go on. Get out of there. Okay. And then on this, hmm, on this side, what are they? 
Hmm. What? <laughs> Apply the enclosed decals to the left and right LED brake light pipes. Align the decals with the back edge of the light pipes as shown in figure 1.1. All right, well, let's pretend I know which side this is. Which side is this? Left. Okay. And left. Ah, so it goes along this edge here. Where are those stickers? There we go. Beep, boop, beep, beep. And I presume this is to prevent light leaking. So that's what we're going to do. Gosh, this could not be more fiddly, but in the scheme of things, it's probably worth it. There we go. That appears to be what we need to do. Good job, me. All right, let's get the rest of these pieces back in. There we go. Oh, yes, that totally made a difference. Mm -hmm. Can't have leaky lights. I agree, Jeremy. Now, do these only go in one way? That's the next question. Yes, and they're tabbed. So it should snap into place. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So far, so good. And then I believe this only keys in one way too. And I can see how that little sticker would prevent some leaking. Yeah. So good stuff. I wonder if that was something they thought of afterwards. Psycho 13 Garage. Let's take this apart together. You're like Mr. Rogers if he was Canadian, had tattoos, and built scale model steam-powered RCs. Well, that's quite the compliment. I will take it. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, so that's one done. Let's uh, zoom back out and we'll do the other one here. Zoom out a little bit anyway. Because uh, that's that's pretty darn easy installation for the rear. Does this come with its own blinker fluid? Travis, that's a good question. Uh, I believe that it does. Let me let me show you what I found. One second. I just remove this other uh, bucket here. I have to say, these are the most detailed light buckets I think I've ever seen on an RC. Like there is a ton of detail in these parts. Pretty amazing stuff. Uh, where's that fluid? Here's the blinker fluid. Uh, it's, uh, it's, you know, it seems quite thick. Uh, thicker than what I'm used to for my blinker fluid, but I, I bet you that just adds to the longevity of the product. Oh, it's just grease. I don't use gel, uh, Tuki Uh I use um, pomade. I'm I'm a uh, I'm a dapper tan man. <laughs> Scale custom crawlers. Um, I don't know when we'll have more stickers. I've got a. I guess I got to make a whole new set. Maybe I'll do like a, a fall twenty twenty one collection. Is that, uh, does that work for you guys? Could be a thing, right? All right, where's my left? This is the, this is the right side. So it has to go on this side. Fiddly stickers. Or is it a decal? Are you guys stickers or decal guys?
Right. Okay, that's back in place. Now we can add our LED panel in there. And screw everything back together. Are you talking, uh, James? Are you talking about my TRX six frame rails? I think they're still in the workshop here somewhere. I may have gotten rid of them out of disgust in myself. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I've considered doing something with them. Just haven't gotten around to it. Oops, I think I crimped a wire here, so I'm going to redo that. I did. Oopsie. Don't want to do that. There we go. Much better. Frame rails for a U-boat. Uh, yes, light leak sticker is on. Thank you. On the topic of stickers, would you consider offering a small sheet of just the shields all the time? Oh, I don't know that I could manage that from a logistics standpoint. It's a ton of effort uh, to be constantly... Which way do these go? Right? Can't remember which way these go now. doesn't look right must go this way there we go back in place all right cool all right let's let's affix those in place Robbie, you can do it. I believe in you. The first cut is the deepest. But you can do it. Uh, Robbie's talking about cutting his, his doors on his marlin crawler, which I think is kind of mandatory in order to have a proper um, marlin. You have to have the cut doors. I wish that RC four-wheel drive would offer those from the factory. Paul, maybe every four months, uh, but you know what? It's, I think it's just easier for me to just offer them as part of the bumper sticker collection. Because inevitably, that's, that's what people want, the bumper stickers. Brought to you by will definitely be a sticker on the next one. That is a virtual guarantee. All right, so... Let's get these wires routed here. We're going to do a little bit of cable management before we move on. Um, let me see if I can get wide enough here. and Maybe, maybe we'll do that. Ah, that's better. Where are my zip ties? Yeah, I should, I should do something with those frame rails. If I still have them, I will definitely do something with them. Uh, Traxxas, of course, when they started making this, they thought about everything. So there's already the connection points right here for the distribution block. There's already all kinds of points for you to, to put a zip tie through to clean up these wires. They really did kind of do their homework. And like, obviously, they knew all this stuff was going to come out when they were putting the truck together. So it's kind of nice. What's a good replacement body for Gen 8? You can put pretty much anything on there. It's got a 12.3 inch wheelbase, so you might not be able to use the fenders, uh, but otherwise, that whole th anything you've got in that wheelbase should work. I mean, you know, your mileage may vary, but it's generally the case. Right. Lots of wires on this piece. Tons, in fact. So we're going to uh, maybe leave those not tied in quite yet. 
We're going to move on to the more important steps now, um, which is getting the distribution block uh, mounted to the body. First, we're going to need this. And I should mention all the hardware that you need comes in this box. So you're not missing anything. You, everything is included. Pretty handy system. Yeah, their light game has gotten tremendously good. Okay. I'm going to grab two of these 2.6 by 8s. And we're going to use this little guy here. This gets put in this way. No turn signals in the mirrors. Oh, I guess they missed that scale aspect. Don't break the tip. Okay, that's in. Oops, did I do it upside down? Nope, that's the right way. Because this can only go one way. There we go. And we're going to need... Can you see that okay? Probably not. That's a little bit better. Plug them in already. There's more to it than that, John. <laughs> Got to make sure you do it all right. Follow all the steps. Instructions are important. Unlike someone else we know. There we go. Okay. So that's how, this whole thing is how you connect to the rest of the truck. It's nice that they add this kind of flexible uh, braided uh, wire here too. So you kind of protect it a little bit in case there are any moving parts. All right, let's daytime running light connectors, which are obviously these little guys. They, they've done you a service by coding everything too. So there's like a letter that corresponds to the letter on the distribution block. So it's really hard to screw this up. And they can only plug in one way, which is also handy. Daytime running light connectors. Do those first. First one, then the rear, done, and then this is K, okay, don't cross the wires, it will explode. I'm genuinely concerned. A, B, C, they do make it foolproof, and I'm testing that theory. A, all in, okay. H. Window tint needs to go. I like the tint. I like a nice heavy tint. I should probably do some sort of interior. Which one's this? G. Uh, 
come on oops i plugged h in the wrong one there we go and g Don't mess it up, Matt. People are watching. Oh, that's a tight fit. There we go. Okay. Now that everything is plugged in on the body, uh, we can do all the zip tying later. Let's move on to the chassis and all the elements for that. Now, there are a few more steps here. Um, um, this bit of business let's get let's clean up as we go right we're going to use the uh, max link cable did i get a before weight oh yeah shoot i was supposed to weigh this so josh would know how much extra weight it added <laughs> Uh, there's the winch on the front, by the way, uh, which wires in through uh, one of the things here uh, for um, on the XL5. I will need to do a splitter, uh, which I have uh, somewhere. I definitely actually know that I have a splitter here. I think I'll need that, so I'm going to grab it right now, just in case. Yep. Attention, always disconnect the battery from the ESC when not in use. That's good. Uh, all right, so this is the uh, lighting power module, and we're going to be installing this on the truck now. It's over on the ESC side, and there is a little handy mounting plate that you add. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it goes right there. Super easy. Mount one of these screws here. Do I have the eye link? Yes, I do. I do have the eye link. That's why I'm going to go with the max link connection. So that goes on there. And then this goes on like this, I believe. I need two final screws for that. How do you do with an XT60? Well, Traxxas is pretty well known for working within their own ecosystem. So, um, I mean, you can always kind of modify these things to uh, work with whatever battery system you have. Uh, I would pay attention to voltage and how much stuff is going to what. And if you need a BEC, I mean, I can't kind of help you on all those things because I am installing this on a Traxxas truck with standard Traxxas connectors, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Now, uh, what we're going to need here is the max link cable and the uh, motor cables as well. There are two separate things here. This one is for in line between your motor and the ESC. So we're going to connect that first. Black to black, red to red. But I think I had to have this reversed. So uh, because it's a Holmes motor, it's an aftermarket motor. I mean, everybody is getting into this sort of proprietary connectors and hardware, right? It's not out of the realm of uh, reality. Smart technology batteries are the same way. There's a lot of people doing similar things. It's dirty. Warranty is voided. <laughs> so there is a motor sensor connector uh, right there. See if you can read that. You should be able to read that okay. 
Um, so that is where your sensors for the motor go. Now that that's done, we can move on to the next step. Max link uh, goes in. To make sure I remember how to do this properly. It is sort of important. Max link in. And the blue wire goes on the most to the left side of this connector. I do believe. There we go. And then we'll route this underneath the battery. How well does the winch work? It works very well. Uh, I was um, very satisfied with its ability to pull itself up over an obstacle that I managed to stick myself into. Uh, it has no trouble pulling its own, uh, like the truck's own weight, which is great. This max link is going to go into our uh, sealed receiver box here. Be back tomorrow when you can see it work. We'll be done here in a couple seconds. Not a big deal at all. All things considered, it's not a terribly difficult install. A little time consuming, and when you follow all the directions and follow it to the letter. Yeah, free spool is a very nice feature. I am not going to lie. All right, and then our max link cable goes in here. Make sure I'm doing this in the proper orientation. Yes. Okay. You see on channel two, yeah, it looks like we're all good in that. Oh, wait, shoot. Come on, dummy. Got to make it go in under the thingy. Otherwise, what's the point? It's always a rat's nest in here. They, Traxxas does jam a lot of stuff in there. Let's see if I can get that poked through. It's like playing that game of Operation trying to get these cables to come out in a nice way. There we go. Perfect. Now I can plug that back in and smoosh all this stuff back in there. I know, magnet tips. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. Rock and roll. Only thing I found when I was putting this together uh, was the winch cable wasn't long enough to go through the traditional um, routing method into the receiver box. So I just put it in through the, the cover on the top, which I think works fine. I'm sure that's not what they intended, but for all intents and purposes, it works fine. Uh, no blood was drawn. It all seems pretty straightforward so far. What I'm going to do just for now is unplug the winch and plug in our distribution and uh, lighting power module here. And you know what? I think that's, I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's just double check to be sure. We got all our wiring done properly. Max link, breakaway cable, receiver. Yep, I think we're good.
Okay. Do you need to plug on ESC? Yes. Uh, they kind of have it set up to use the um, JSTs that are included on the XL5. Um, so yes, you do need to plug it in that way. Uh, let's get the battery on here. And let's plug the actual light kit in like so. And let's turn it on. See if I did it right. I think I did. Got headlights. Oh, guys. Tell me that doesn't look awesome. That was worth the wait, gentlemen. Where's my radio? That looks wicked awesome. Oops. There's no batteries in this. <laughs> Put some batteries in it. Can you turn the lights down? Yeah, there are there are different settings here. Stand by. Need some batteries. Where did I put my double A's for that? What a doy -oy. Okay, I have some this video. Yes, I do. Yeah, for the halos alone, this was worth it. Let's see what we can get going on here. So unprepared. <laughs> I know, Phoenix, I'm useless. Useless. Try again, dum dum. Let's do this right. Dooley, how are you doing, my man? There we go, that sounded more appropriate. All right. Let's see what modes we've got here. Let's uh, fire up the old Traxxas link. Hopefully that works without any trouble. Getting the link established. Can I turn the studio lights down? Um, sure, I'll try that. I'm not getting the lights on there. Okay. Stand by. There's the reverse lights. I've got it set to instant reverse. Ah, oh, look at those brakes. I'm still learning. Let's go into the modes here. <gasps> There's the running lights, which that looks really sick. That looks really, really sick. I love that. That's really cool. 
And then there's your headlights and halos on at the same time. Let's see if the blinkers are working. Not yet. That must be the next mode. There's high beams. Oof, that is bright. That is very bright. I like that. Okay, nothing on signals yet. We've got just halos. Okay, let's, I think, where are the instructions? Activate turn signals. Press and release signal two times quickly. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> so there's your hazards, which looks even sicker. That is so cool. <laughs> that looks great. Hazards on the rear. Hazards on the front. Ah, oh, that is so good. Let's. You want to get it a little bit uh, darker in here? We can do that. That well, that feature alone, just for that, so cool. All right, I think we've got turn signals now. Yep. And they don't turn off until you kind of go back to center. So nice. I mean, to be fair, I'm probably not going to do a lot of signaling, but it is pretty neat to have them. Yeah, that's great. And then it also, just in case you were paying attention completely, it also lights up the side one as well. So there you go. Okay, what else can we do here? Yeah, my Traxxas link wasn't firing up right away, but that's okay. We'll figure that out later. But um, okay, let's go back to center there. I just, for those halos alone... Let's uh, let's turn off another light here. And get it's gonna get kind of moody. There we go. That's not so bad. That looks great. Now, one thing you'll want to do, and you can see it leaking a little bit here, top and bottom of the body. You can really see it when I put my hand over there. You'll probably want to put some uh, some black tape around the inside of the body, just to completely black that out so you're not getting any of that spill. But otherwise, that looks pretty darn good. Let's go back to um, headlights on. And when you put the headlights on, it actually dims the running lights. So your halos aren't as bright. <laughs> Phoenix, do I hear Barry White in the background? Dun 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 Then there's your high beams, which are plenty bright. I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty chuffed by that. Those back lights, though, those are awesome. So obviously, I've got I've got to reverse those motor wires because you can see that's brake and then reverse. So it's confused. So let's fix that while we're here. Because why not? A little come hither underneath here. Come hither. 
<laughs> Please tell me you're going full foam interior. Is there any other way? <laughs> All right, let's turn it off for a second here. And notice that it does keep the halos on while when you unplug it. Let's, uh, let's reverse these motor wires here because it is definitely confused. Because I've reversed, I've reversed the motor, I think. Don't get my come hither fingers dirty. <laughs> Why won't you? There we go. Now I've got that Barry White song in my head. Let's try that again. So I want I want accurate brakes and lights working properly here. The way they're supposed to. So let's see if that fixed that. Yep, there's your reverse lights. Maybe it's in the wrong mode again. I'll have to figure out the braking because that's sort of key, I think. Reverse lights work fine. Yeah, we'll have to figure that one out. Uh, but otherwise, I think that's a pretty successful. Take it out of crawler mode on the ESC. Yes, that's what it is. I figured there was something. Thanks, Blake. I'll look into that um, later on. But there you go. There's the light kit for the Bronco installed. I gotta say, I'm super impressed. Let's put it into let's put it into flashing hazard mode. Yeah, cool. Yes, it's because the ESC is set up in rock crawler with the instant reverse. Um, but um, shoot, guys, there you go. I think that looks pretty darn good. Let's get the camera moved up a tiny touch. There we go. Chuffed. Chuffed right in the Gulliver. That light plug back in. There we go. Much better. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. And um, I hope that uh, you were able to pick something up from all of this. Um, I just think this adds a whole other dimension uh, to the to the truck. I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased, and uh, can't wait to shoot some video with these lights because they look awesome. I'm really impressed with the buckets. I think I think it's like all of that innovation. So like you see all of these things all at once. That is just so rad. That's very very cool. I'm impressed. Good work, Traxxas. Um, yeah, so I think that's going to do it. Cool. Am I going to spray the top flat? I hadn't considered it. I might do that, though. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what, uh, what other lights we can, uh, we can get on there. I think, um, there's definitely going to be a lot of options, uh, to add this, uh, add more to this kit. I think it looks pretty cool. Am I going to do a dig like the real Bronco? Um, it's got some sort of brake assist, doesn't it? Or uh, does, is it actually a dig? I'm, I, I don't know. Depends on the model, I guess. But I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty impressed. That thing's looking pretty awesome now, I gotta say. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. I think, um, 
That only took an hour. Amazing. All right, well, uh, check in tomorrow night. Uh, there will be some uh, TRX-6 stuff going on tomorrow with Josh and myself. Uh, we'll be kind of chatting about what he did. What did he do? Just we wait and see. Uh, tomorrow around 8 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Check that out. And then uh, tomorrow is obviously um, live stream takeover. So be sure to check that out as well. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. It's uh, it's always just so great to hang with you guys. And uh, hope that you guys pick something up. And hope you'll check out this light kit because it's super rad. That's going to do it, guys. Have a great evening. Thanks very much to Chung ERC. Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow night. Take care. Love you. Bye.